in just a minute. But right now, what about a, you know changing up your look? You're going to a luau or a beach theme party or just an outdoor you know um, summer celebration. Want to kind of get your hair up and out of the way and be nice and cool? Well, our good friend Deb Gerke from Grassroot Salon in Appleton has a fun updo for us. Take a look. Okay, well, Sarah's with us today, and she's agreed to let me show you some awesome, easy, fun summer updo ideas. Now, there are a ton of really fun and easy things that you can do. Obviously, even really just a traditional ponytail is fun, and the way to make a traditional ponytail current right now is either to pull it a little bit higher on the head and allow the pieces to just be really super soft, through here you can get a little bit more height up through the very top that's also a cool thing to do and just allowing the ponytail to be kind of central just above the tips of the ear or you can pull it up higher on the head either way is okay and obviously if your hair isn't quite as long as Sarah Sarah's got quite long hair then you know your ponytail can't be quite as high but ponies are always a fun way to go for summer and I know I've said this before and other times when I've been on but it's still true for summer you can't go wrong with something that's on the asymmetrical side of things um, very loose deconstructed side ponytails I'm sporting one of those today with my beach waves um, that's a really fun easy carefree fast thing to do for an updo. What I'm going to show you now is something that is not difficult at all and it incorporates using a ponytail and again because the styles are very deconstructed right now we're not going to be concerned about getting everything super perfect you know and the hair super smooth as we pull it up. It's okay if there's some stray pieces and bits of texture that are kind of showing especially because we've got these great beach waves in Sarah's hair and why would we want to cover all of that up? They're great. In fact, look, we can even let a few pieces kind of come down. There, and we've got a nice high pony. And now what we're going to do is just take the underside of the ponytail and just kind of tighten that down just a bit and flip the pony back over. Okay, now before we go further, I'm just going to take a peek. And you're just looking for a little bit of balance, but again, you don't want it to be too, too perfect, and it's actually okay if it's a bit on the lopsided side. That's actually something we're kind of going for. Okay, now we're going to take this bit of the ponytail, and I'm just sort of shaking the waves out a bit, and I'm going to take the ponytail. This is something that you can do on yourself. It's not hard at all. Take the ponytail, and you're going to wrap it around your hand. And turn her to the side so that you can see that. I'll do that again before I pin it. You're taking the ponytail and wrapping it around your hand and folding the tails underneath. And now you're going to pin the tails to the top of the crown. Now the cool thing with this look is already at this stage, you'll see once I get this last pin in, you can let the sides kind of come down a bit and honestly that's a great look in and of itself you can just leave the bun sort of separate in it um, around itself and that creates a great updo that can actually look like a lot of time and effort was put in when really all it is is the ponytail and the wrap around the hand now the other thing that you can do is from this point you can take the hair and just start pulling from the rubber band part where it's fastened underneath and just start sort of deconstructing the bun a little bit. You're going to see that the waves are going to fall, the bun is going to get bigger and start to, some of the pieces may even fall out. I love that. Just lets it get a little bit more deconstructed. You can use a little bit of spray if you want to just keep it here. It's tossily, it's soft. You can again pull out more of those tendrils if you want. You could pull out even longer pieces from the center. And this just gives that bun a little bit more of a soft, sexy, deconstructed feel. Coming up next, we've got another great recipe for your luau. It's beef papas. 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 With slaw. Yeah, it sounds good to me. What is it? I don't know. We'll find out next. Stay with us. Okay.